Hey, what's up everyone? My name is David. I'm from the big island of Hawaii and grew up here in Kailua Kona and I'm a avid gun owner and hunter and i uh, just like to show you some of the guns I have and some people think that Hawaii and guns don't mix but actually we have some uh, really good freedoms uh, and we're able to own pretty much any firearms that most people can with a few restrictions but yeah I'd like to show you some of the guns I have. I uh, got a few pistols here. Uh, this is actually uh, Canic TP9. This was my first handgun. I'm usually uh, shooting bolt guns and, and hunting. And so a few years back I got into pistols and this was the first one I ever got. I'm kind of a sucker for OD Green. And uh, these Canics are great. They're super cheap, usually $300 to $350 and super comfortable, super accurate. Um, also got a couple Glocks that, that I have. This is uh, what some people may call the Glockzilla. This is a Glock uh, G40 MOS, which is a 10 millimeter uh, full size long slide. Uh, essentially Glock made this as a hunting pistol. Um, and that's what I use it for, for pig hunting and also target practice, you know. Uh, super, super smooth shooting gun for how much power it actually packs. This is very powerful. And then I got a couple of these uh, subcompacts, the Smith & Wesson Shield 9, which is one of my favorites, and also the uh, Glock 43 9mm, as you can see also a uh, OD Green, which is one of my favorites. I uh, also have a couple ARs that I, I kind of did the YouTube thing and uh, talked to a few of my friends and a couple gunsmiths and figured out how to build some ARs. So I put these together. Uh, this one is actually a polymer lower, which was kind of surprising to me. Works really well, and that's a 5.56, kind of a Franken gun, a bunch of random parts put together. And then next to it, I also have one that I put together, which is a 300 blackout. And this one's set up with actually a, a pistol length gas system. So it uh, very reliably functions with subsonics and supersonics. Uh, so that's great if I wanna, you know, somebody who's never shot a gun before, I can shoot low power subsonics or I wanna do target practice and keep the noise down, it's great. And then I can switch it over to supersonics to do some hunting. Also got a few bolt guns and uh, a shotgun. We have amazing upland bird hunting and turkey hunting here in Hawaii. So that's one of the main reasons I have a shotgun. And this right here is a Ruger American 308 uh, Predator model. And that's just a, once again, a very inexpensive, but reliable and accurate bolt gun. And I use that for um, just beating around in the forest and uh, not super worried about damaging anything. So this is probably my favorite firearm that I have. This is my Tika T3 in uh, 270 Winchester short magnum. And this is one of my primary hunting rifles. Uh, and I, I also, I put a Bell and Carlson uh, composite fiberglass stock on there. Um, it came with a wood stock and I do a lot of hunting and really wet uh, rainforests and also high altitude so I wanted something that was a little more wet weatherproof and I got it topped with a Zeiss uh, eight Conquest HD 5 3 to 15 scope it's just a really good lightweight compact piece of glass and this is uh, yeah for the money some of the best bolt guns you can get they're made in Finland by Seiko and uh, this is my primary uh, hunting rifle for for medium range and for basically uh, pigs, sheep, and deer when I go to some of the other islands. I have a, a kind of a thing for old kind of antique uh, things as well. I collect old knives and so when I saw this Marlin 336 I, I knew I had to have it and it's uh, probably as you guys may know one of the more iconic firearms uh, in the United States probably taken more deer than any other single rifle and this is actually a youth model and so with the youth model it has a shorter length of pull and in Hawaii you can only get the uh, 16 inch barrel with the youth model and so I just kind of slapped on a, an extra inch of butt pad to bring it back out to my length of pull 
And this is a great brush gun for pigs. And I take this up in the forest and there's not a lot that can go wrong with a lever gun. They're super reliable. And uh, yeah, also one of my favorite firearms. The last gun I'd like to show you guys is this Ruger 1022. I'm six foot five, so getting a gun, uh, especially a 22 with a length of pull that fits me is kind of hard. And so that's what I love about this Magpul stock is you can actually add spacers uh, and take them on or off to shoot for different length of pull for younger or older. And uh, this is one of the more popular 22 rifles, so there's not a lot special about this but this is just a fun plinking rifle for me i mess around at the range and i love it once again od green which is one of my favorites and yeah great little rifle like i said some of you may not think that hawaii is a place that's gun friendly and hawaii actually has a lot of guns there's a really big uh, gun culture here a lot of hunters a lot of ranchers so guns have been around for a long time and they'll continue to be around for a long time we have a few laws that do restrict some magazines on our pistols, but generally we don't have a lot of restrictions other than class three firearms. So for someone like me, who's a recreational shooter, uh, just shooting and doing some hunting, I don't really have a lot of restrictions and I'm able to have a, a great collection of guns that really um, bring me a lot of joy and I have a lot of fun shooting them.